Hi everyone, it's Amy from Three Girls in a Kiln. Just wanted to hop on here and tell you a little about um, our art project bags and a little update on what's going on in the shop this week. It's um, unfortunate that I can't see you in person, but we are here at Three Girls in a Kiln to make sure that we can provide you the same great service that we always have, just at a bit of a distance. And we worked really hard to make sure that we can accommodate everyone with all of the recent changes revolving around the current virus that's going on. Um, the girls and I have chatted extensively about the things that we want to offer you, and we want you to feel safe in our space if you choose to come in, and also know that the things that we are providing you are always the fun, artsy things you come to expect from Three Girls in a Kelly. So with that said, let's talk about these art bags. We're really excited to bring you in home Three Girls in a Kelly. Now, Deborah and I are both certified art teachers, most recently having taught at John Gray just a few years ago. So it was really important to us that in these art bags, we provide you not only with something to keep your little ones, middle ones, big ones busy, but they're gonna learn something. And that's always been the goal at Three Girls in a Kiln is that every class that you take in our studio is gonna teach you just a little something. So why wouldn't we do that if we brought it home? In our bags, you're gonna see lots of fun stuff. And we did take into consideration not only the items that the kids may be making while they're away from school, but also a bit of education mixed in there. We also know that for you homeschoolers, this is nothing new for you. And it's now a service that we find is super important and that we're hoping to bring to you all of the time. So that's really fun. Let's look at these art bags. We've got two options for you. We've got our large and our small. These will be available on our Etsy site tonight after 8 p.m. You can purchase the bag via our Etsy site, or you can place an order through our email. Please note that our Etsy shop orders will take the priority. So if they are sold out on the Etsy site, and then we get to the emails, you may find that we are sold out of one item. So we do encourage you to find live updates on our Etsy site to know the quantities and the numbers that we have. Also, because we are working on a limited supply based off of our last order and still waiting on items to come in, we're going to be rotating out the items that we put in the bags. They will be ceramic, but we're just gonna be offering different shapes on a weekly basis. We've got plenty of new items coming in that we'll be able to put in these art bags in the next coming weeks. And we're really excited about some new things, especially because Easter is just around the corner. So let's talk about these art bags. When you place your order online, you can pick for on island delivery, or you can pick to come pick it up in the store. If you give us a call at our shop number, 640-09990, we can always run out to the car so that you don't actually physically have to come in the shop. I mean, we all know how that Commander Bay parking is anyways. So we'll be happy to run it out if you just give us a ring. In this bag, you're gonna find lots of things. So let's get into it. First thing you're gonna find is your ceramic object. And I'm gonna go over those ceramic objects with you so you know what you're gonna find in your bag. This one is a seahorse. So you will find the ceramic piece. You are also going to find five paint pots. You're also gonna find two paint brushes. We've given you a large and a small brush. In the paint pods, you're gonna find your primary colors. That's gonna be red, yellow, and blue. We've also included white and black, and those are for mixing. So let's talk about the mixing. In your sheet, we've provided a color mixing sheet. This will give a little bit of art education to your younger kids that may not know all this, and a little reminder to your older kids. So we've got a color wheel and some color mixing. This is printed on cardstock, so you can actually mix the paint on there so the kids can practice. We didn't find it res like socially responsible to give you a whole lot of plastic. So we're just providing the basic primary colors to which you can mix to get your secondary colors. So you'll be able to mix these colors on the page to get an abundance of colors. Plus by adding black or white, you can get the lighter or the darker of a color. It's really great. So we've got those. Practice on your sheet. Now you're ready to paint your object. You're totally into color mixing. On your next sheet, you're gonna find um, two images. They look the same and that's so you can practice. Maybe you want an orange seahorse. Maybe you want a rainbow seahorse. We have provided crayons in the bag so that kids can practice 
what they're gonna put on their ceramic. This is something we do in the art classroom. It just kind of gets the ideas flowing, getting the kids to think outside the box. It doesn't have to be a blue seahorse with purple coral. It could be a rainbow seahorse with green coral. It's completely up to them. But they can practice here on that sheet using the crayons that we've provided. On the back, and here's where the art education comes into play, we've done some extension projects. Now these won't be for the younger kids. They're just gonna wanna paint this thing. Um, but for any kids that are already in school, investigating and finding the answers on your computer are gonna be great. Questions like, what is a seahorse? What do they eat? Do they have teeth? So this is all about seahorses on this page, whereas with some of our other items, it'll be about them. We also go, hmm, this is a lot of plastic. What are we gonna use the plastic for? We provided um, just a few ideas that you might use at home to reuse some of the plastic. One of them being, go ahead and wash them out, return them to us, and we'll reuse them. It's one of the great ways to make sure that it's not a single use plastic. And parents, let me tell you something. These make for great Jello shop molds, just saying. So in that, we've got all of this. Also in the art pack, we've included a bit of Play-Doh. Not a lot, but enough for the kids to create something. Maybe they make a seahorse out of the Play-Doh. Maybe they create their own creation, but this will extend the project maybe while they're waiting for the, dry, the paint to dry. This is just another great thing. And that's not all. We're also going to provide a mystery prize in each packet. You don't know what it's gonna be. It's a mystery, it's fun. Maybe the kids look forward to seeing what that mystery prize is, but you will have to wait and see every week. So that is going to be what is really in the art kit. Now I will say that all of the items that we have, they're only gonna be for decoration. These are not glazes. So unlike other projects you've done in the studio where the kids have come in and they've been able to paint it and we put it in the kiln and we fire it, that's not the case because we don't want you bringing them back and then having to collect them. We're trying to mitigate you coming back and forth. So the paint is acrylic. It is going to stain the clothes if it gets on them. So you do wanna make sure that they're wearing some coverage and always wash your hands. So just note that these items are not food safe. Any of our dishes, you wanna make sure the kids aren't putting food on. No wrapped candies, their jewelry, things like that are great to go in those dishes. Um, so we've kind of tried to stick to things that you're not gonna wanna put food or drink in. So let's look at our small art project items. We've got things like a ring dish with a cute little bird. You can make a little banana quid or something fun like that. We have a starfish, always great. Maybe you're not into that, maybe you're into trucks. We got a skid steer or a digger. I could really see this being yellow with some black tires. We've got a dinosaur for you. I know a lot of kids out there who love dinosaurs. This is a great thing for them to work on while they're home. We have a small box, jewelry, whatever you want, treasures, great to go out in the backyard and dig up something fun. Those are our small items. In our large packages, we've got some fun items for you too. We've got things like um, a feather plaque that says dream on. This is a great thing to inspire you in those weeks that you'll be home from school. We've got butterflies and dogs. We also have piggy banks. While they're out there digging for treasure in the garden, they can put their change in there too. Maybe dad left some on the counter. We've got a horse. What else have we got? Oh, we've got our love banks. These are great. So while our love banks may be a little of a smaller project, we put them in our larger art projects um, because as always, whenever we sell a love bank, pro, um, some of the proceeds go towards NCVO. So we're gonna continue that even with our art projects that go home. What else have we got here? Let's see, we've got an octopus plate, a fish plate. Oh my goodness, could you imagine all the fun things that the kids could make um, on their fish plate while they're practicing on their sheet? This is great, I love this. And we've got our unicorn plate. Oh man, I can totally see some rainbow hair going on. I'm really excited about all of these projects and I hope that you are too. Now, it wouldn't be all fun and games if we didn't include something for the adults because, well, you're stuck at home too and, well, we all know just after a little bit of time, we need our own form of stress relief. So, coming at the end of the week are going to be our adult bags. And that's because the projects are going to be a little harder and a little larger. Let's see what's in here. A picture frame. This is great. You can totally document all your fun you're having at home in the next couple of weeks. With the picture frame, it will come with a piece of glass 
and the backing of the picture frame. That's a fun project. What other projects do we have? You can make a vase out of this cool wine bottle. You can paint flowers, you can paint a Cayman sunset, lots of cool things. Another really fun adult project we're excited about is our home plaque. This class did really well last year, and while we wanted to bring it back, we've decided to put it into our art kits because it comes with a cord. We're also going to include our Cayman stickers. You'll be able to put that onto here, paint over it, and have the outline of Cayman in your home plaque. I think this is a really fun project, and I think it's especially important during this time that adults also have a creative outlet so they don't completely lose their mind. I'm also not gonna lie, the surprise in our adult bags is maybe a little more cheeky than the kids' bags. Just note, this is complimentary. We are not selling this. We just want to include it because, heck, if you're a mom at home with your kids, you're gonna need this. So those are our fun art bags. We're really excited to launch them, and we hope you are too. In addition, our shop hours have just minimized a little bit. Starting tomorrow on Tuesday, March 17th, St. Patty's Day, we're gonna be opening at 1 p.m. We will be open until 7 p.m. And we also have our St. Patty's Day wood sign class. We're really excited about this. The class is going on. We felt it was still really important to keep our classes going. None of our classes are ever capped or are always capped at 20 people and our wood sign class is at 18. So even with a full house and two instructors, we're looking at 20 people to 22 people max. We find that with the space that we have in the studio, we can make sure that our social distancing is appropriate. Of course, if you don't feel comfortable, that's fine, stay at home. Also, if you're not feeling so great, stay at home. It will do us all a favor and we can make sure that we combat this together. Saying that, we have our class tomorrow night from 6 to 8 p.m. We want to celebrate St. Patty's Day and we have some special Irish signs um, that we have created just for the event. We're also doing complimentary green beer provided by Cayman Islands Brewery, so we want to thank them for that as well. As for the rest of the week, we're going to be only opening the shop from 10 to 3 p.m. This is going to allow us to have minimal contact and also provide you a way to come in and pick up your bags. Other than that, business as usual. We do appreciate those of you that are choosing to stay home, while those of you that are probably gonna need a creative outlet in the next few weeks, we're here for you. So we're constantly coming up with new ideas and things that we can provide in our art bags so that you will have something new to do. I did hear from parents, well, maybe we can make this a weekly thing. We really hope that you do. We hope that you can provide a bit of art education to your students at home during these trying weeks. We also hope that you can provide yourself with a little of creative outlet. So over the coming weeks, we're gonna be launching a lot of new projects. And whether you come into the shop or you stay at home, we're here to provide you with the best fun and creativeness that we always have here at Three Girls in a Kiln. Feel free to send us an email at threegirlsinakiln at gmail.com with any questions or concerns you might have. You can also phone us during our shop hours at 640-9990. Deborah, Claire, and I are here for you and we wanna make sure that we can do whatever we can to give you the best customer service possible. So while we want you to stay safe and stay healthy, we also want you to be creative. And we look forward to seeing you, whether it's in the shop or out at the curb or dropping off at home. All right, guys, it's been great talking to you. We'll check you later.